and I already cleaned up half of it. There's freaking garbage everywhere. The stupid raccoon busted open the back of the shed and then dug a hole underneath and out the fence. Okay, Malachi, what did we find on our walk today? Um, no! A snail! A big one! He's really big, isn't he? Yeah, like this big. Well, yeah, not that big. <laughs> but he's really, he's bigger than the one we found on the weekend. Yeah. Abony um, saw him when we were walking her to school today. She spotted him right on the ground, right? Yeah. And then she wants to see it when she gets home. So we're going to make a little home for the snail, right? Yeah. So I put a little piece of tomato in the container and we're going to put some like leaves and grass in here and have it all like crawl around in there. But he was just in the cup holder of the stroller and he actually like climbed up the side of the cup holder and like went over the stroller. So I had to put him in with like a lid. So we have to have a lid on our container or else he'll get out and have me be like, where's my snail? So don't want to mess with that. So we're going to go outside now and get our snail and put it in our container, right? Yep. Yep. Okay, so our snail is in here because he was in here and he crawled out. So I put him in here. So he should still be in here. Oh, look at him. He's upside down. Just hanging on the side. Look how big he is though. Like Whoa, this is a giant snail. Now. Compared to all the other ones that we found, this is the biggest by far. So we're going to pick him up. They're really sticky. Like they suction cup on things. Look at this. Uh, look at him. Hello, snail. A vulture. Hello. Hello. Hello, turbo. Yeah, Malachi calls all snails turbo. Look at his little antennas are starting to come out now. Look how big he is. I don't know if you can focus in on him or not. There. See him now? He's a big one. Check it out. He's huge. I can't believe how big this one is that I haven't found. Look, he comes like right out of his shell, completely out of his shell. And he's just crawling around and suction cupping on everything. Okay. Okay, so we're going to put him in here, right, Malachi? Here we go. We hope you like your new home. What should we name him? we got to name our snail. Um, Turbo. Turbo? Okay, his name's Turbo. Because he's really cool looking and he's really big. So hopefully he likes his little home for now. We'll definitely let him go when Abony gets home, but she just wanted to see him a little bit longer. She loves every kind of animal. Okay, Malachi, put the lid on so we can't get out. Here we go. All right. So we'll see Abony's reaction when she gets home Hello, from school table. today. Hello, table. <laughs> I think Malachi likes him too. You like him? Yeah? Okay, now, now we gotta go inside because it's a really muggy day. It's definitely gonna storm. I can feel it in my head and everything. And, uh, and there's so many mosquitoes out right now. So we're gonna go inside. Bye. Levi has been acting very mobile lately. You really have to keep your eyes on him. Um, right now he's thinking it's really fun to climb on the high chair. <laughs> You're just a little daredevil. Huh? I don't I don't know if Nick told you in the vlog yesterday, but um, Levi has figured out a way how to get up onto our bed. He climbs up on like this safe I have at the end of the bed. He climbs up on that, then climbs up on like our chest at the end of our bed, and then jumps onto our bed. Okay, so Abney's home from school, and the first thing she asked me when I picked her up was, do you have my snail? And she looked in the stroller, and I was like, oh no, he's at home in a special little home. So, Abney, he's over here. It's going to be wet, Malachi, because it rained. Yeah. Do you know how to open that container? Yeah. Careful. I think I see him on the top. Suction cup to the lid. <laughs> how do you open it? Okay, I'll do it. Here, you hold the camera. Put your hands. Got it? Uh, let's see. <laughs> oh, there he is. You hold it. Yeah. Oh, no. There he is. He's suction cupped on the lid. He's suction cupped on the lid. In my hand. It's both of your snails. I can't get it is off. Is he really stuck on there? Uh, suction cup snail. Oh man, he's really stuck on there. There you go. 
Oh, he hid in his shell. So there, are you happy we took care of your snail for you? Yeah. When you were at school? Yeah? Do you, do you like its snail? Yeah. This like its shell? Thing? Yep, it's a really cool looking one. Did he eat any tomato, Malachi? Oh yeah. Did he eat some? Yeah, it looks like he might have ate some. Was it a big tomato? No, but it looks different right here and here. It's not all the way through. Is he coming up to say hi? No. No. Oh, he's hiding. All right. This is the halfway point of a video. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe to our vlog. Okay, so I'm getting the mail, and all of a sudden this spider comes out of the mailbox, and I have never seen this spider before. It's really gross looking. I don't know if you can see it. Oh my goodness, he's falling away. Okay, he's going in there. Okay, I don't know if you can see it. I don't want to get too close. Ew, look at it. I've never seen that spider in my whole entire life. It is huge, and it's got like white on him and black. I don't know what it is. Creepy looking, whatever it is. Ugh. Ooh, I hate spiders. Don't. Ew, do you see this thing? No. Oh, right there, Malachi. Oh, he just went in the mailbox again. Ew. Yeah. He's so creepy looking. Oh, look, he's going right in the bottom. Oh, gross. Oh, my goodness. Nick can get the mail from now on. So, here's the snail in action eating the tomato. Okay, he's like right on top of the tomato. <laughs> Here he is. Is he eating it? It's hard to tell, eh? He came right out of the shell when Abony took the tomato, right Abony? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so um, the other night I went outside because there was like a raccoon outside and my pot, my light went out so I just closed the, the stupid shed and I think I may have locked it in here because look, and I already cleaned up half of it. It's freaking garbage everywhere. The stupid raccoon busted open the back of the shed and then dug a hole underneath and out the fence. Ah, so disgusting here now. But I take everything out and power wash it. So gross, what a waste of my time. I freaking hate raccoons. Grr. Okay, so here's the shed after the friggin' stuff's all out of it. Look at how gross that is. The friggin' thing ripped a hole right in there. So. I got a friggin, I don't know, I'm gonna drill a board across the back maybe. These friggin raccoons man, they're driving me nuts. They're driving me nuts. I don't know what else to say. Driving me nuts. So Levi's eating his supper. And every so often his head just goes over on his tray. And it's like he's just gonna fall asleep. He just wants to lie down. <laughs> he said, no, Levi, you have to eat your supper. You have to finish eating. Staying awake. This is his new spot to eat. He loves this chair on the floor in the corner. I don't know why, but he always moves it back over here. Like, he pushes the chair over here. He never wants to sit in the big high chair anymore. And he wants to sit on the floor. I don't know why. <laughs> he wants to fall asleep so bad. Look. Oh. It's like, oh, I gotta eat, but I'm so tired. Oh, life's hard, eh, bud? Okay, so I'm all done the stupid shed. I screwed that board down there on the bottom to keep it uh, so it's not bent out anymore. And that kind of just reorganized it, put a little shelf in there. Now the garbage stuff is a little more organized, the bikes. It's not as dirty, so. In the end, it's probably something I needed to do anyways, but uh, the raccoon wasn't a nice way to make me do it. So there you go. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. We really appreciate all of your support. Please feel free to comment, thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel. The more subscribers, the more videos we're gonna probably have. Just saying, putting that out there. Anyways, can you believe that raccoon that we had? It was driving me nuts. I can't believe it broke in there and dug a giant hole under the shed and out the fence. At least I got it fixed now. I shouldn't have any more problems. I got a cage I can trap them in too. So maybe I'll set the trap this time and see if I can catch it and then release it like somewhere really far away from my house. Who knows? Anyways, thanks for watching.